Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rock and Prince and thanks for watching this video. Today in this tutorial, we are gonna stitch on an oven mitt and a dish towel that I picked up from Target. We're gonna use two images that I purchased off of embroiderydesigns.com and we're gonna use my 2002 Rakoma double head machine and also prepping the image up and using Chroma Plus and then we're gonna send it off to my Rakoma machine and then we're gonna start stitching. So with that, hope you all like this video and please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you want the best benefit to this tutorial, stick around to the very end. So with that, let's go ahead and get this started. guys so let's go ahead and go to chroma plus and we're going to download this image and we're going to get this prepped up so all i really want to do with this is i just want to go ahead and get the image in so i can send it to my recall machine so let's go ahead and find the image first we're going to go to folders and if you don't know what program this is this is called chroma plus um it comes the software comes with the machine when you buy it. So I went to embroiderydesigns.com and this is the images that I got. So I looked for a dinosaur and that's what I was kind of looking for. And when I was on the website, this image just kind of stuck out to me and I wanted to put this on this mat. I was looking something tailored toward um, Valentine's Day and this is what I got. So let's go ahead and go to... Um, Yeah, we're going to go and find this. So here it is. All right. Raw, I love you, dinosaur. Okay, means I love you. So we're, this is actually a 3.73 inches and a 2.64 inches. So it should fit in that um, format that I have, in that hoop ring that I have already set up with the mitt, the oven mitt. Okay, and we're looking at 10,108 stitches and we're a total of six colors so we're going to go ahead and hit this and we're going to send this to the machine so it's already got the format ready for me 3.73 by 2.64 and let's send this bad boy off okay next thing what we're going to do is we're going to print our run sheet so it's always it's very important that you print a run sheet out that way you're putting in the colors correctly because if not you can make a big mistake doing that okay so always make sure you have your run sheet ready and you're double checking your colors okay so i don't necessarily have everything that they're you, know, you once you you're going to find out once you get these once you get these run sheets that they're asking for all kinds of crazy colors and you don't really have all these colors, you know, so you just, you got to do the best of what you got and you got to make it work for you. Okay. So they're asking for six colors and the first color is going to be diamond black, which I'm going to have to use black, uh, parik paprika. Um, yeah, I just got red. Okay. Kelly green. I got green and a fresh pine. I think I have a darker green that I can work with and a cream white. I don't know if I have a cream white, but I'm going to certainly see if I can work with something that I have uh, on my machine. Okay. So this is the run sheet. Let me go ahead and print this bad boy out and we're going to go ahead and send it. We already sent the image to the Rakoma machine and let's go ahead and get stitching. All right, so here is the dish, the oven mitt and dish towel, and we are gonna go ahead and cut the, the little um, connection. We're gonna cut that little plastic strip that they have to keep them both together. I'm trying to do this without tearing anything. All right, that was fairly easy. All right, let's sep we're separating them. And Okay, this was the last image that I used on my last video. We're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to go back to my images that I have and this one should be the latest one here. Okay, and there it is. 
we're going to go ahead and select it. And the first color that I have is diamond black, which we're going to use here. So if you, if you have your machine, you, this is number one. So you want to start counting from all the way down. So one, two, three, four, five. So black is going to be number five. All your colors on here, doesn't matter if they're different colors. That's just the way the format was. But I was told that you can change the colors if you want to tailor to your actual setup here. But it, they said it's not good. It's not a good thing unless you know you're always going to have pink on one, green on two. You know, if it if it if you're going to constantly be changing threads and moving them back and forth, it's better just to know that know your your count up here rather than changing the colors here because then you're always going to have to go back and forth changing stuff. With this case, we know that black is number five, so we're going to press five. All right. Number two is uh, paprika. And I'm going to use five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be number eight. All right. Next color is going to be Kelly green, which is going to be two. And it's going to be two. So I'm sorry. There you go. One, two. Okay. Next color is going to be um, a fresh pine. And I get, I'm going to use that one right there. So this, that's going to be number nine right here. This one, number nine. All right. Okay. Then we're going to use diamond black. We'll go back with black again. So that's going to be number five. And then last color is going to be a cream white. Do I have a cream white up here? Um, no, I don't. So what we'll do is we'll use number one, two, three, number three. Okay, so I'm looking at, with my setup here, we're looking at um, diamond black. Diamond black is five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, paprika is going to be the red in the back, so it's going to be five, six, seven, eight. Um, number three is Kelly Green. That's going to be one, two. Let's make sure I'm on two. I got two. Yep. And then, um, then after after uh, Kelly Green is going to be Fresh Pine. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have nine. Then last one, black is going to be five. So, okay. So it looks like we're all set up. Now we're going to go ahead and select it. We got our colors in. And we are going to go ahead and start the trace. So let's go ahead and insert the, the image into the setup here. And then we'll start the tracing. Well, guys, it the oven mitt was a fail. So I'm going to go to plan number two. We're going to do this kitchen towel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set this one up and we're gonna take this to the Hoop Master, which is my favorite, favorite setup here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this and we're gonna set this up. I love this thing and I know, I've been watching um, videos of um, people who do embroidering too and they all, they all say the same thing I say. This is one of the best things uh, that are out there. And um, we're going to go ahead and get this one set up. So so um, what I'm going to use is a tearaway backing. And this is just some scraps that I had saved, say, saved from before. And we're going to go ahead and put this kitchen towel here. And I'm just going to try to get it right in the center here. And we're going to do it just like that, okay? And we're going to put this bad boy here. And we're just going to snap it in place. And it is done. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to redo this again. This time I'm going to put this towel here. All right. And we're going to set this all up again, okay? So now that we'll go back to that dinosaur image, we're going to set it up. So what I gotta do is I gotta reflip this and take this out. We're gonna unlock it. We're gonna go back to 
Um, we're going to go back to what we're going to do is go back to the settings and we're going to use this setting. We're going to go ahead and do that. So it's going to, it's going to flip it all back. It's going to put everything back in place. Um, the only thing is I guess I'm going to have to reflip it. So we'll go back to angle and we are going to go here. And there it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit that. And click OK. Oops. Let's back out of it. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I think we're ready, guys. Let's go ahead and do the tracing. It's a little off. So what I'm going to do is... We're going to move it just a little bit and then let's go ahead and trace again. Let's move it a little bit. Out. All right, let's trace it one more time. All right. All right, now what I need to do is make sure all my my needles are threaded with the colors, okay? So we're gonna do number five. I wanna make sure it's number five set up. So number five, I got it threaded, okay? Next thing, we're looking at number eight. Number eight is threaded. Number two, number two is not threaded. So I'm gonna have to set up number two. We're gonna have to set that one up. And then number nine, number nine is set up. And is number nine set up? Yeah, it is. Just looks a little loose. And then after number nine, we're going to go to number three. It's going to um, number five. Five is set up. And back to three. Okay, and three is white. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up real quick. Let's get this, get this all set up real fast here. I don't know what I did with my needle nose pliers, but that's fine. All right, so what we're gonna do is push this bad boy down, put it in through this little hoop. Okay. Bring that down. All right, I'm gonna give myself a little light. I'm gonna turn on the garage light so I can get this, so I can see it a little bit clearer. And then what I'm going to do is take this end and then put it through the little hole here. It's really, really not so hard. The only hard part is catching the backing. But if you get a more string there, you can actually grab it from the back and tug it a little bit. And then what we're gonna, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through this little hoop here. I hope you guys can see that. I know my hand's in the way, but I put it through the hoop and we are done. And last thing what we wanna do is, let's bring this camera down so you guys can see. Last thing what I wanna do is I wanna take this string right here and I wanna pull, put it in back of this little Back. There. And put it in back of that little, um, that little curved loop. Okay, so now. All right, then I'm just going to pull. And then we'll hold it there. And let's go ahead and trace it one more time. I think we're, di we're done. So when three comes around, I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna snip it, all right? When it's ready to do that. So for right now. Let's go ahead and start tracing. I mean, let's go ahead and start. Um, okay, so right now I think we're all set up. Um, 
number five, six. I wasn't using six. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this apart. And take this back off. This is a tear away, like I said. This one's cool. Okay. Let's see how this comes out. Let's go ahead and just fix the little touch-ups here. Just got to take these little excess strings off the threads off I mean I keep saying strings I meant thread okay and there you have it guys let's take a look let's move it closer what do you think if you like this video please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment I greatly appreciate it with that stay tuned for my next video next week Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you guys back. Peace.